So I want to show you a quick way of narrowing your topic or making sure that what you're searching for in your search is not too broad of a keyword or too narrow of a keyword. Um, under current students, the library is listed. You can go to two different places. Um, under de de databases and ebooks, there's a link called EBSCO. Click on that. You can go that way. Or my preferred way for you to go is to go to subject guides. <coughs> These are also called live guides or lib guides. Um, this page explains what they are. You click the link. And honestly, I would bookmark this if you're doing research. And just come right into this page. Again, with the resources I'm showing you, you'll need the passwords. Um, and they are in the they're in the syllabus and on the home page of the class. Um, so you come into the the guide of the top topic you're looking for. Um, they're all going to have the same features, just the, the topic varies. And you'd go to articles. This is going to list basic places to begin, and they'll have more specific ones for the topic. Uh, where I want you to go is Academic Search Elite. So you can come in here and just ser do searches, but the best thing to do is to, to look at the subject terms. Now this might be called the source or uh, subjects, terms. Uh, you come down into this space. <coughs> if let's say I'm, I, I'm thinking about doing gun control. I do my search, and it's going to give me a list. And sometimes this might be pages of, of, of s subtopics. Maybe I want history. I click on the history one. It's not really giving me much. I come back in and I say, okay, that's not really what I wanted. Maybe I want gun laws. I go to gun laws. And I keep clicking on these different tabs just to see what are available. <coughs> now you're going to get a screen like this at some point, and it's going to offer you broader terms, narrower terms, related terms, used for. Um, so it's going to give you synonyms. It's going to give you something. If, you <coughs> if you're doing your search and you get too few results, one possibility is to come in and find a broader term. If you get too many, find a narrower term. So I look through these, and this is how I can narrow my topic, and it's how I can make sure that I'm getting the results that I'm really looking for. You cannot write a paper on a broad topic. It's too big. Uh, you really would be writing a thesis or a dissertation. Don't do that to yourself. Um, you have to have a large enough group of information that you can have sources to pick from. Um, so you can't do too specific, but if you do too broad, you won't be able to cover the whole topic. So maybe I really like assault weapons ban. And I look through there and I say, yeah, this is the one I want. I can very easily just copy that, paste it in and do that, that same search up the top. And then it gives me 724 in this, this database. There's hundreds of databases you could search. Um, I'm doing full text because I want my results immediately. I can also do interlibrary loan and get um, articles from other libraries that we don't actually own. I'm definitely going to click scholarly and peer-reviewed because my professor told me that I needed to use academic resources. And I'm going to narrow my focus down to just the last few years. That way I have a smaller number of results. <coughs> 11 results, that's a good number, and it's very specific to my topic. I can share this, I can go to the results, and I can email an entire batch of results to myself in one easy step, just by going to the folder. The folder is also at the top. Uh, and then I have them in my inbox with the citations attached to them. Very easy. Thank you.